A Makakilo woman says what happened to her on Friday proves there are still good people out there. After losing her wallet with her rent money in it, someone turned in the wallet, and all the money was still inside. Elisa Revelo has the story you'll see only on KHON2. Yes, Joe, losing your wallet would ruin anyone's day, and it could happen to any of us. Shayna Kali'i Holokai tells me her faith in humanity has been restored. Shayna Kali'i Holokai tells me she and her family had just finished grocery shopping at the Kapolei Walmart on Friday night, and they were headed to Long's next. And on the back of that cart, there's a little pocket area. So my wallet was there. I was loading the car, and my husband put the cart back, not knowing my wallet was on the back. Shayna realized she didn't have her wallet about 30 minutes later when she was about to make another purchase. They went back to Walmart, but the wallet was gone. Shayna's ID, medical cards for her kids, and $1,600 in cash were inside. It was a Friday, it was payday, I cashed it, and I was ready to pay my rent the next day, and then my heart just sunk when I got home. I mean, nowadays, that's all you see is bad news everywhere. Things being stolen, people just ripping people off, and I was so sad. But the night took an unexpected turn when a woman messaged Shayna on Facebook saying she found the wallet and was trying to return it. They met up shortly after, and everything inside was exactly how Shayna left it. And I was like so thrilled. Like my heart just, my heart was racing so fast. But I tried to reward her everything. She, she didn't accept my reward. She just took a thank you, a hug, and we became friends. It's an act of kindness Shayna says she'll be forever grateful for, and she plans to pay it forward. There's still good people out there. I mean, I was so thankful for her. I'm sending her something. I won't not pay her back somehow. Shayna says the woman's son is the one who told his mom he found a wallet. She and the woman exchanged information, and she plans to send them a gift soon. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.